we are here in Sydney, Australia at the beautiful Darling Harbour and we are about to go into Sea Life Aquarium. The entrance is just here. What's really special about this aquarium is that it's got the largest variety of sharks in, of any aquarium in the world. They've also got a lot of monster fish too. The first thing we're going to actually see is an exhibit of just that, so a prehistoric fish called a lungfish. just at the entrance is their Australian lungfish exhibit. Lungfish are native to Australia but you also get them in some other countries. There is an African lungfish as well. These ones specifically I believe are the Queensland ones. So there's actually a Brisbane river where I'm from that these guys used to breed a lot in and they used to use the bow to actually lay their eggs but after the floods a lot of that got wiped away. That was quite catastrophic for them because they're already endangered. So you can keep these guys but you have to have a license and everything to keep them because obviously they don't want people taking them from the wild or anything like that when they're already so endangered. These are the biggest artificial I've ever seen in an aquarium too. Be quite interested to know how old these guys actually are because they are huge. Like they're like the size of maybe two, three of my hands, some of them. They would at least be 30 centimeters long. Uh, very, very big fish and it's quite incredible when you see them schooling in there. What we might do is we might move on and have a look and see what other exhibits we can see and go and see some of these awesome sharks but I actually haven't been through this area yet so I'm going to be new to this just as you are as we explore through you can see they've got lots of Jurassic themed stuff in here all right so already we've got some more kind of salt water setups here very very nice didn't expect this we've got some penguins here oh they are so cute so these guys are very, very cute. I'm not exactly sure what type of penguin they are. Alright, let's keep going. They've got some moonies in here. They can live in fresh water, especially when they're young, because I believe that their eggs get laid past the estuaries. And then I think moonies in particular, you might be able to keep them in fresh water for a little bit longer as they become adults. But I think they thrive, you know, the best when they're in brackish water. How bright is that? I've never seen something like that. Oh, it's a sea apple. I just read it here. So, a sea apple. Part of the sea cucumber family. Kind of almost reminds me of like a sea slug. So there's silver scouts in there and I am seeing some of these ones that are like giant tetras I think and they've got very big sharp teeth. So those are the guys like swimming at the top. Got some really really huge fish and huge setups here. It's quite impressive like these fish are the biggest I've ever seen in terms of these varieties of fish like these perch, these scats. I think I can see a fly river turtle maybe which is quite cool. Oh there's a gudgeon. Uh, when I went to America it made me appreciate some of the Australian turtles and fish and stuff we've got here because everyone was you know so excited about the fly river turtle and stuff and I had never actually heard of them until I went to America but now I love them I think they're really really cool okay I think we have to go through a door to continue we went into a dead end here's a distribution of little penguins for you so they are native to here that is where we are and I am from around this area here all right let's continue through photo experience and stuff you can do here, turtle encounters. Um, oh, um, that's okay. Can I just go straight through? Okay, thanks. <laughs> we can get free photos, but I feel like that's just weird getting a photo by myself. <laughs> I mean, I could, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe give it to mum and dad for Christmas or something. So I think we're going to see some stuff that are uh, native to around Sydney Harbour here. Big 
fish to eat plankton, but I guess, you know, there are fish that are big like that that eat plankton. But oh my goodness, that's so crazy. It stands up so high too. Like, look at those feet and those claws. There's one I'm hiding under the rock over here too. Just under there. These lionfish, they're loved here in Australia. They are very expensive to buy. They're about $500 if you want to get one that's maybe half the size or even a third the size of that for your aquarium. But again, when I went to Florida, they are pests over there. So they are invasive in the waterways, in the salt waterways there. Oh, we're going to Dugong Island. right now and I just looked at this scene and I can see that there's a dugong right there and in this video I'm gonna go on about how I was so lucky to see a dugong from the surface I didn't even realize that they were in this aquarium part right here I know the guy in the green shirt is definitely pointing at the shark I think maybe the lady next to him saw the dugong but I didn't even see it there's lots of viewing panels for all of these fish here. It's really, really beautiful. But this is a, a lovely place just to go for the day. I think it's a, a very pleasant, a nice environment, nice atmosphere. Uh, very well looked after. But I really like it. Oh look, this tunnel's like empty because everyone pauses at the first one to have a really good look and get all their photos and stuff. <laughs> There you go, there's a nice little trick. If you come here, come to the second tunnel if you want to have a look without everyone. <laughs> Gosh, these guys are huge. Does anyone know what these are? I don't actually know what those are called. Wow. Really, really, really cool. Oh, look at this guy, it's like a unicorn. I'm sure that would be a quarter unicorn fish. There is no other name I can imagine that this fish would be called. With that big horn on it. Stop to get a photo, but the crowd caught up with us. But let's um, oh, be brave going back up the ramp. I will see you up there. I can um, empathize with people who have crams now. They have this luggage. We made it to Dugong Island. They're a, a descendant from an ancient elephant species. And they're also known as a sea cow. I do not see any dugongs. Maybe there's like an underwater viewing area somewhere. No, surely that's where we just came from and I didn't see any dugongs down there. Alright, let's keep going. Just got some water and I just thought these were really, really cute. Look at these little dugong plushies. So adorable. I just saw a dugong. I swear, there was a dugong that just came up, just down there. There's a dugong. We got to see one. Look at it go. I was just leaving and I just caught it. Oh, look at this. You can totally see the people walking through the aquarium down there. So that makes sense why it's nice and sunny. It's not direct, direct sunlight because I've got a little bit of a cover here, but a lot of sunlight gets through there, for them, which is really nice. You can get a little photo with a dugong. You know, I feel like I'm entitled to buying a dugong plushie now that I actually saw one in the water. Got some little speed bumps. It kind of does make you want to just like roll something through, like push it through when it's a full way like that. Maybe that's why they got the speed bumps. Oh no, not again. All right, so as you can see here, we do have a lot of sharks that are native to Australia. So some of these will be in the rock pools around where I live as well, like the Wobby Gong. That one is definitely where I'm from. And we've got great white sharks, tiger sharks and stuff as well. And these are just the sharks. Wait till you see the snakes. 
not in this video, but I think that's the exhibit that we were just at, Dugong Island, and the one that we went underneath before. I don't think we've been through this one. This one's more rocky and less sunny. But there's a shark. Look at that. That's cool. Well, we saw our first a shark. There is a shark. Oh, there's one above us. Check that out. It looks like it is laying an egg. <laughs> I don't know, something coming out. It's so majestic. It's got some big teeth. That's very, very cool. Wow. I wonder what type of sharks they are. There's a little one above us. It's a big stingray. My goodness. <laughs> oh, I got a big one too. Lots and lots of big sharks. Okay, there's a stingray. Look at him go. <laughs> that was pretty cool. The shark's just sitting there, just chilling on the roof. Good little place to rest. Oh, I like that one. That one's like a stripy one. It looks kind of like a stingray almost. That's why I still have it. I saw this really cool video recently actually on YouTube and it was like this guy, he dropped a GoPro at the end of a pier. It was somewhere in America, but this pier, it was crazy. The, the things that you see there, I never realized it, but a, a pier, like a fishing pier, is a place where a lot of sharks tend to go because of the people putting the bait in there and stuff. For the smaller fish, they all kind of you know, meet up there. So we've got the same thing again. It goes through the other side. Nice. Ooh, big. What big gong maybe? Just chilling there. I've never seen one that big either. Like that's like triple the size of the biggest one I've seen. Because I think when they're in the rock pools they're normally a little bit smaller than that. Very, very cool the mask. Oh look at this guy. Finish heading through here and we'll oh. see you on the other side. This ramp is carpet. Uh, my big cousin with Megalodon. Can you imagine if Megalodon still existed? That would be crazy. There's a game I used to like playing called Ark Survival Evolved. I don't know if anyone else has ever played it, but it's so much fun. But I always get so scared in games when you're in the water because of the sharks. I feel like it's like actually attacking me in real life. And it looks like there's definitely not the penguins that we saw before. These are like full blown emperor looking penguins. They're very like. But I can see the little ones coming in the background there. Well, we might keep moving because it's a little bit busy because they're feeding them. I was just like chilling, oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Look at that guy just sitting out, having a VR experience. But let's go to the Great Barrier Reef. I'm very keen to see what this is like. Oh, it's a lot of jellyfish. <laughs> I love like all the different colors and stuff. Jellyfish are such weird creatures. Kind of like they're almost like single cell organisms where they like split themselves uh, into little bits. Oh, look at all the clownfish, that's incredible. It's very cool in it, it's very like glowy. So we just came from there. It's like being in a cave kind of thing. But 
as we would know corals and stuff are not in deep water things so as we go through I'm guessing it will get a little bit brighter turtle statue looking at us. I think I read online too that this actual aquarium itself is designed after a wave like from the outside it's shaped like that. If I had a drone we could probably check that but I don't know if I'd be able to get far enough away to see the whole building. Maybe we don't actually get to see corals because it looks like we're at the end at the gift store. So I don't know where the rainbow reef was that they were talking about. Maybe I missed it. I don't know. But this was a monster fish tour of the aquarium, so I guess it makes sense. That's what they're all about, sharks and big fish. If you liked this video, you might like checking out my channel too. I post a lot of aquarium vlogs and things. Got a little bit of time to kill, so I leave from the airport at about 7.30 and I think it's only like barely three o'clock now, so. I don't know what I'll do for the rest of the day. I guess we'll just enjoy our day here. If you haven't seen it already too, I will have posted a video by now of the pet show that they had here, which is, you know, the main reason that I came here in the first place was to have a look at that. It was just absolutely awesome. I went there in Melbourne in March and that was great, but this was like three times the size the aquarium section was and even just the whole show in general was huge. So if you have the opportunity ever to come to Australia, I definitely recommend visiting one of the pet shows. And if you live in one of the cities that they have them, they've got them in like Brisbane, in Sydney, Melbourne, don't know about Perth potentially, but it's totally worth going to. But yeah, we'll finish the video there and I will see you in the next one. Bye.